In this video, we are talking camping gear for the 2022 Group Therapy Weekender at the Gorge. For those who are flying in and renting a car, you can reserve camping gear online from a camping gear rental brick and mortar store in the Seattle region and then go pick it up. And we're going to talk about how you can get gear delivered to a FedEx mailing center in the Seattle region, including Walgreens, or you can have camping gear delivered to your doorstep at your home. Welcome to Sippy Cup Adventures. I'm Darren. I'm Patty, and we are a travel channel exclusive to Northern California. Yeah, so for you, guys, you regular viewers who watch our content on Northern California, you could skip past this or just play it in the background. But Sippy Cup Adventures is about getting out to a waterway, having some cocktails, and listening to your music. And our music is in Juna Deeps and in Juna Beach. So by that definition, this video kind of qualifies to be on our channel about travel in Northern California, even though most of you aren't from Northern California. So we're going to talk about how you could get camping gear, rent some camping gear for the weekender 2022 coming up this July at the Gorge Amphitheater. So I am sure some of you have already rented camping gear online from a store in the Seattle area, and it's likely you rented from REI. REI is a national chain of stores that carries camping gear and there are a few locations in the Seattle area. Now I found this helpful article on the Washington Trails Association website that gives a complete list of rental places in the area where you can get camping gear and I will link this article in the description below. So this REI in Ithaca, Washington seems to have more gear but let's back up a bit. So you go to REI and type in Seattle to see all the store locations. And then you're gonna click on rentals. Click on find locations and eventually you will type in the date range, which I've already done here. Click on camping and hiking gear. And just keep scrolling till you see what you need. Now it seems to be at this store here in Issaquah, there seems to be inventory left for the date range July 22nd through July 25th. The Issaquah store is a 30 minute drive from SeaTac Airport and it's on the way to the gorge. Now let's check out REI's flagship store located in Seattle. Now the flagship store seen here is much farther north of the airport, although it's still a 30 minute drive from the airport. This store seems to have less inventory as noted by the not available prompt. When you get to the tents, sleeping bags and camp chairs, there's really not much available. Yes. But there's also renting from one of these online companies that do camping gear rental. And we're going to highlight a few of them. For instance, there's Moose Jaw, there's Outdoors, Outdoors Geek, there's Arrive Outdoors, and then there's Kitlender. These are companies where you can go online, see what you want. Yeah, and these websites, they come with packages, as you see here, like a package camping for six, you know, with sleeping bags, tent, cots, cooking gear, things of that nature, you know, packages of, for two people or four people on these national camping gear websites. 
And what they do is they box it up and they ship it to you. And we'll get to where they're gonna ship it um, in a bit. Then you have the gear, you use the gear, they have a box that you pack it back all up and then you ship it back to them. So there is that option. So we're gonna highlight a few of these sites. You only get charged for the days that you use it. You don't get charged for the shipping days. Yeah, some of the shipping is free if it's a minimum order of $50. So you're not gonna pay for the, the shipping. And we're also gonna talk about how you can possibly get them shipped to a Walgreens coming up. There's one on every corner. And so for those of you maybe who are not flying in that are gonna to drive to the gorge, you can have, of course, this camping gear shipped to your home. Shipped to your home, shipped to a FedEx facility, or shipped to your hotel that you might be staying. Yeah, and so, one, if you're staying at a hotel, why do you need camping gear? Our assumption would be maybe you're coming in a couple of days early, maybe checking out Seattle. Um, so you can have it shipped to your hotel, and then when you're ready to go to the gorge and camp out, you've got the equipment available to you. Oh, that makes sense. It's like, why ship it to a hotel if you're staying in a hotel and not camping? But you're saying maybe you're gonna be in a hotel prior to going to the gorge, mm -hmm. so have the camping gear shipped to you at, at your hotel. So the first company I reached out about and I learned about this is I just did a Google search for camping gear rental, not specific to any region, but Arrive Outdoors was the first website. So I went and um, read their frequently asked questions, FAQ page, and then I called and talked to a representative. Now, the representative might have said a little bit much more than he should have said uh, for the company, but he was very nice and he was just, honestly, he was just very, he, very transparent. So I had the questions and I told him that I did this video about, you know, RV rental, but we want to do one for camping gear. So he's like, wow, I don't know if we have that much inventory. And then he kind of got, was saying that, you know, summertime, it's really busy. Well, of course it is. So my, you know, how much inventory do you have? Um, yeah, we get people that send back our gear and it's it's ruined, they destroyed it, or if they send it back at all. And I'm thinking, well, this is the model that you present, this renting gear online, so that's gonna happen, right? Yeah. Hopefully, and Unifam would be- uh, More respectful. More respectful and responsible enough to take care of it and then ship it, ship it back. But he also said that, and Arrive Outdoors is, has a warehouse in Los Angeles that they've been having problems with FedEx in Washington, the state of Washington. So he was telling me all this and I'm like, well, why would I use your company, you know? So I don't know how much inventory, but it is an option. Um, if you reserve maybe early enough, it'll get it. Let's clarify this. The whole model of this camping gear rental industry is that you have to fulfill order, future orders, with the hopes that the people will return the gear from previous orders, right? That's equivalent to renting a vacation rental and assuming that the prior tenants are gonna leave before your date or renting a car, hoping that the previous renter is gonna return the car so that you can use it on your date, right? Now back to Arrive Outdoors, this article that I previously shared with you, under Washington State Parks it says they've partnered with Arrive Outdoors to offer gear rentals sent directly to you via FedEx. So that would be their problem shipping to Washington. They have a partnership, I guess, with Washington State Parks. Maybe it's just not going as well. Or conversely, I talked to this company through Messenger, Kit Lender, and here I'm gonna share my conversation on the screen right here. They were much more positive about the whole prospects of you getting your gear. So I would probably start with Kit Lender because they seem to maybe have the inventory. And if you, on May 1st, reserve this for the dates of June, July 22nd through 24th, um, they said they're gonna have the gear for you. Maybe they just have more. So, so here's a little bit from this chat transcript. And apparently Kit Lender was on Shark Tank. So I asked, are there problems shipping to Washington? They said, no, no problems. I asked, if people were to rent for an event from July 22nd to the 24th, how will they know if there's enough inventory? They answered, well, they'll know if the items are available when they go to rent. I mean, duh, it sounds like a stupid question on my part, but they said order early, obviously. 
Then I pretty much explained what the Weekender was about and folks are flying into Seattle and looking to rent camping gear. Their response was they ship to a FedEx centers in, in many Walgreens. Walgreens is a great for secure drop off and pickup and may provide holding services as they will hold a package for you there for up to five days. So they gave me a link for the FedEx shipping centers, which I'll put in the description below. And they continued by saying, you must choose a location that holds ground and holds express packages and you return your kit to whatever is convenient for you. And you don't have to use the same facility where you picked up the gear. So then I told the rep about my previous video and how it did really well and a lot of people rented RVs and they said, we're ready for them. Sounds pretty good to me. The representative arrived outdoors. He was a little bit more transparent. Hey, I don't know if we can get this done, but we do have gear. Versus Kit Lander, who was like, yeah, we'll get it to you. What's the problem, right? Okay, this is pretty cool. On the Outdoors Geek website, go to Rental Information, select the FAQ page, and there they actually have these helpful videos. They also have a YouTube channel that's extremely helpful. Yeah, so they ask, you know, they answer the question, how do I calculate my rental date? Do my transit days count towards my rental days? How do you guys clean your gear? And what kind of gear do you have, etc.? Very helpful. So I would just recommend, just like with the RVs, if you're going to rent camping equipment, you do it now. Don't wait till May. Don't wait till June. Do it now. So to recap, for those seeking camping gear for the 2022 Group Therapy Weekender at the Gorge, you can stop by a camping store in the Seattle region and pick up gear after reserving it online. Or you can use an online national camping gear rental company that we went over and have it delivered to your home if you're driving from your home to the Gorge or have it delivered to your hotel if you're staying in Seattle area prior to the Weekender or have the gear shipped to FedEx mailing centers, some of which are located in Walgreens stores, and pick it up and then pack it up and send it back from the FedEx shipping center or Walgreens. Hope this was of help to you. Take care, fam.